My mother said to my father, isn't that the ship that they say is unsinkable? And he said, no, this is the ship that is unsinkable. Altogether, I have had four shipwrecks and a fire during my 30 odd years at sea. But by far and away the worst of them all was the loss of the Titanic. The biggest and finest ship in the world. Eva Hart and Charles Lightholler, two survivors from the sinking of the Titanic, were their memories of one of the most famous disasters in history. The Titanic was a showcase of self-confident, ambitious Edwardian technology, the most luxurious and high-tech craft afloat. That also meant having state-of-the-art communications with Marconi wireless operators who could send and receive messages using Morse code. Over the years, the story has been told again and again, but the only real-time documentary evidence from the night are the wireless messages sent to and from the Titanic and other ships involved in the rescue attempt. Together, they provide a telegraphic narrative of the events of that desperate night 100 years ago. This is the Titanic in her own words. If you had an ear across the Atlantic that night, the Morse messages might have sounded like... But imagine what it would sound like if this mechanical language were to be given a 21st century voice. Titanic to Cape Race, to Mrs. Milling, in Denmark. I am very well. Calm weather. Wonderful ship. I am enjoying myself. Jacob. Titanic to Cape Race, to AJ Sloper. New Britain. Arrive Wednesday. Titanic maiden voyage. Meet me. Vessel worth seeing. William. In this programme, you're going to hear the story of the Titanic told through these messages, using speech synthesisers to give an impression of these dots and dashes chattering across the Atlantic. My name is Sean Cochran. And some years ago, I wrote a book about what was then the biggest archive of these Marconi messages, gathered by the Titanic historian John Booth. It's always stayed with me that there was something almost painfully poignant about these messages, carefully copied down in copper plate handwriting, following the tale from misplaced optimism to the most awful disaster. Many were sent by one man, Jack Phillips, who at the age of 25 had probably the world's most glamorous job in this young industry. Here we join the story with a Titanic near enough to land to talk to a shore station with Jack working on a backlog of messages. This is Cape Race to Titanic. To Miss Dorothy Gibson on Titanic. We'll do everything to make you completely happy. Love you, Matt Lee. Jules. Titanic to Cape Race. To Jules, New York City. Hardly way to get back. Cable made me awfully happy. Love, Matsy. Titanic to Cape Race. To Belmont Hotel, New York. Reserve two double rooms with bath and single. Arriving Wednesday. Fortune. This is Baltic to Captain Smith Titanic. Have had moderate variable winds and clear fine weather since leaving. Wish you, in Titanic all success. Titanic to Baltic. Thanks for your message and good wishes. Had fine weather since leaving. Captain Smith. Cape Race to Titanic. To Mr. Meyer, Titanic. Jane is fine. And sends you a kiss. This is Californian. Most of the messages were sent for fun by wealthy passengers. But between the ships, the wireless was just beginning to be used for serious information about safety. Ice warning. 42.3 north, 49.9 west. Three large bergs. Five mile to southward of us. It's all right. I heard you sending it to the Antillian. I have got it. These early days of wireless were a bit like an early version of Twitter. These short messages could be heard by anyone listening. There might be a reply, the message might be forwarded to other ships, or else it could be ignored. But many ships still didn't have any wireless, and many only had one operator. 
so when he was asleep or off duty, the ship was effectively deaf to any messages being sent. At the centre of this were the Marconi operators, independent young men of the modern age, who had been promised an escape from the blind alley careers of their peers. As you'll hear, they like to use their own jaunty, mock upper-class slang, calling each other old man, or OM for short, something like today's LOL. They could also get in each other's way. Jack Phillips and the Titanic didn't want to be interrupted when he was trying to get a stack of messages sent. Titanic to Cape Race. To Mrs. Andrew Sachs, New York. Trip fine. Feeling splendid. Arrive Wednesday morning. Keep well. Love. Leilga. This is May Saba calling. Ice report. In latitude 42 to 41.25 north. Longitude 49 to 50.3 west. So much heavy pack ice. And great number of large icebergs. Also field ice. Weather good. Clear. This is Titanic. Receive. Thanks. Cape race to Titanic. To Miss Dorothy Gibson Titanic. It causes no happiness without... Californian to Titanic. Californian to Titanic. Say, old man. We are stopped. And surrounded by ice. Keep out. Shut up. Shut up. I'm working Cape race. Titanic to Cape Race. Sorry. Please repeat. Jammed. To Miss Dorothy Gibson Titanic. It it's now a quarter past eleven at galaxy. night. International film star Dorothy Gibson, the Kate Winslet of her day, was one of the more glamorous passengers and was using wireless to continue a long-distance romance. Despite all the interruptions of the ice warnings, Jack Phillips is making maximum use of the contact with the land stations at Cape Race in Newfoundland. Notify all interested in poker. Al. Titanic to Cape Race. The America passed two large icebergs in 41.27 north, 50.8 west. Titanic to Cape Race. To Harrison Sanford, New York. Hello, boy. Dining with you in spirit tonight. Heart with you always. Best love. Girl. Titanic to Cape Race. George Simoding in New York. Weather delightful. Feeling fine. Hope all. CQD. This is Titanic. CQD. This is Titanic. CQD, this is Titanic. CQD, this is Titanic. CQD, Titanic to all ships. CQD, this is Titanic. CQD, this is Titanic. Position for 1.44 north. 50.24 west. Into the dark night, the signal CQD suddenly booms from the Titanic's transmitter. CQ, attention all ships. D, I am in distress. The ship had struck a massive iceberg and was ripped open below the waterline and would sink in a couple of hours. With only enough room in the lifeboats for half the passengers and crew, the captain turned to his only lifeline. He went to the wireless room and asked Jack Phillips to send a call for assistance. Across the freezing waters, the signal was so unbelievable that ships receiving their messages struggled to make sense of what they were hearing. Frankfurt calling Titanic. What is the matter? CQD, Titanic. Our position is for 1.44 north. 50.24 west. OK. Stand by. CQD, CQD, this is Titanic. Mount Temple to Titanic. What is the matter? Cannot read you, old man, but hear my position. For 1.44 north, 50.24 west. Come at once. Have struck a berg. Received. Will tell Captain. CQD. This is Titanic. CQD. CQD. This is Mount Temple. Titanic sending CQD. Says require assistance. Gives position. Cannot hear me. His position at 41.44 north, 50.24 west. CQD. This is Titanic. 
struck iceberg. This is Asian, calling Titanic. Titanic to Asian, CQD, want immediate assistance. Received. Will tell Captain. CQD. CQD. This is Titanic. Require assistance. This is Carpathia, calling Titanic. Old man. Do you know that Cape Cod is sending a batch of messages for you? Come at once. We have struck a berg. It's a CQD old man. Position 41.46 north, 50.14 west. Shall I tell my captain? Do you require assistance? Yes, come quick. Jack Phillips knew Harold Cottam, the operator on the Carpathia. Here was a familiar voice who might be able to help. But he still carried on transmitting the distress signal, in case there was anyone nearer at hand. CQD. Require assistance. Corrected position for 1.46 north, 50.14 west. Struck iceberg. CQD. This is Burma. Calling Titanic. What is your position? Position for 1.46 north, 50.14 west. Require immediate assistance. We have collision with an iceberg. Sinking. Can hear nothing for noise of steam. Mount Temple to Titanic. Our captain reverses ship. We are about 50 miles off. Titanic to Carpathia. We require immediate assistance. Carpathia to Titanic. Old man. We are 58 miles off. All right, old man. This is Olympic. The Olympic was the Titanic sister ship and the only other ship in the world with a transmitter as powerful as the Titanic's. But she was a long way off. This is Olympic calling Titanic. Sending service message. Olympic calling Titanic. Carpathia to Titanic. Don't you hear the Olympic calling you? No, old man. I can't read him for rush of air and noise of steam. Carpathia to Titanic. Putting about and heading for you. Expect to arrive in four hours. Received. Thanks, old man. Frankfurt to Titanic. We are 172 miles off. Frankfurt? Are you coming to our assistance? What is the matter with you? We have struck an iceberg and sinking by the head. Please tell your captain to come to help. We are on the ice. Okay, I'll tell the bridge right away. Okay, yes, quick. At this stage, the Titanic's junior wireless operator, Harold Bride, joked with Jack Phillips that they may as well try the new international distress sign, SOS, because it might be the only chance they would ever have to use it. CQD, SOS, from Titanic. We have struck iceberg, sinking fast. Come to our assistance. Titanic to Californian. CQD, CQD, struck iceberg, sinking. Require immediate assistance. Cape Race to Californian. SOS from Titanic, CQD, and 41.46 north, 50.14 west. Want immediate assistance. She was sending out both the CQD and the SOS. Walter Gray, friend of Jack Phillips, and officer in charge of the station at Cape Race, remembering the night. Now, the SOS had just recently come into practice. It was, uh, that was the official distress call. But prior to that, the CQD was the official. That, that was a Marconi manufactured one. It never had official recognition. But through practice, it, it had become officially recognized. So Philip recognized that the SOS had been so recent in operation that not all ships might recognize it. I think that's where he exercised very excellent judgment. So he would call CQD and then follow immediately with SOS. And then he, he kept that up every few minutes. CQD, CQD, I require immediate assistance. Coronia, to Baltic, SOS, from Titanic, CQD, in 41.46 north, 50.14 west, wants immediate assistance. Received. This is Mount Temple. Titanic calling SOS. This is Upiranga. Titanic of CQD, in 41.46 north. 40.14 West. CQD, 